There are a variety of recommended management strategies for hand osteoarthritis. Again, none of these are curative or halt the progression of disease, but can ease the symptoms and improve quality of life. The most strongly recommended are really behavioral management, such as exercise, which we often don't think of in the hands, but can be um, strengthening of the internal hand muscles, strengthening of the joints, protection around the joints, and even up to bracing and occupational therapy types of in interventions. The pharmacologic therapy of hand osteoarthritis is not particularly effective, and it does have a fair number of side effects. So while oral NSAIDs, or non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, are the most strongly recommended by the American College of Rheumatology, many patients with hand osteoarthritis have multiple comorbidities and multiple other sites of osteoarthritis and are not candidates for these types of medications. Unfortunately, they can cause GI bleeding, peptic ulcer disease, and can aggravate kidney issues in patients with these common comorbidities of osteoarthritis. There is a good option, however, which is topical NSAIDs. So rather than taking oral NSAIDs by mouth and dealing with the systemic um, contraindications of those, the topical NSAIDs are quite effective for hand osteoarthritis as the joints are quite superficial and readily um, reached by these medications, which are much safer and are preferentially recommended in people over 75. There are other options for hand osteoarthritis. Many of these have conditional recommendation based on different individuals' characteristics. Surgery for the base of the thumb joints can be considered in very severe osteoarthritis. Other systemic therapies can actually be considered in the setting of multiple joint osteoarthritis, such as duloxetine um, or Cymbalta, which is approved for chronic diffuse musculoskeletal pain, of which osteoarthritis is one of the most common causes. Chondroitin is mentioned in the ACR guidelines as one option for treatment of hand OA, even though it is not recommended for many of the other sites of osteoarthritis, and the reason for that is unclear. A recent study published in The Lancet studied methotrexate in hand osteoarthritis with synovitis, the METHODS study out of Australia. Unlike prior randomized clinical trials using methotrexate in hand OA, this study used a reasonable dose, so 20 milligrams a week, which is the standard dose for rheumatoid arthritis, over a longer follow-up period, and found a small benefit for pain and function in individuals with hand OA. This is an early stage, relatively small randomized clinical trial, but does show potential promise and may become part of our armamentarium for treatment of hand OA in the future.